The Sanctified Life, Chapter 8, The Ministry of John The Apostle John passed his early life in the society of the uncultivated fishermen of Galilee. He did not enjoy the training of the schools, but by association with Christ, the great teacher, he obtained the highest education which mortal men can receive. He drank eagerly at the fountain of wisdom, and then sought to lead others to that well of water springing up into everlasting life. John chapter 4 verse 14 The simplicity of his words, the sublime power of the truth he uttered, and the spiritual fervor that characterized his teachings gave him access to all classes. Yet even believers were unable to fully comprehend the sacred mysteries of divine truth unfolded in his discourses. He seemed to be constantly imbued with the Holy Spirit. He sought to bring the thoughts of the people up to grasp the unseen. The wisdom with which he spoke caused his words to drop as the dew, softening and subduing the soul. After the ascension of Christ, John stands forth a faithful, ardent laborer for the Master. With others he enjoyed the outpouring of the Spirit on the day of Pentecost, and with fresh zeal and power he continued to speak to the people the words of life. He was threatened with imprisonment and death, but he would not be intimidated. Multiples of all classes come out to listen to the preaching of the apostles and are healed of their diseases through the name of Jesus, that name so hated among the Jews. The priests and rulers are frantic in their opposition as they see that the sick are healed and Jesus is exalted as the Prince of Life. They feel that soon the whole world will believe on him and then accuse them of murdering the mighty healer. But the greater their efforts to stop this excitement, the more believe on him and turn from the teachings of the scribes and Pharisees. They are filled with indignation and laying hands on Peter and John, thrust them into the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opens the prison doors, brings them forth, and says, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. Acts chapter 5 verse 20 With fidelity and earnestness, John bore testimony for his Lord upon every suitable occasion. He saw that the times were full of peril for the church. Satanic delusions were exciting everywhere. The minds of the people were wandering through the mazes of skepticism and deceptive doctrines. Some who pretended to be true to the cause of God were deceivers. They denied Christ and his gospel and were bringing in damnable heresies and living in transgression of the divine law. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 8, The Ministry of John